gentlemen, this is the 76 kilo division, the very first of our three minute rounds. This fight, under full tie rules, three three minute rounds of action. And this man, standing at 190 centimeters tall, fighting out of our blue corner tonight, hit the scales at 74.1 kilos. He's had 11 professional fights and eight wins. Training out of Nuksu Muay Thai Cans, please welcome Ryan Stone. His opponent in our red corner at 75.8 kilos. His record at nine fights and six victories. Urban Muay Thai is his gym. Gold Coast is his home. This is Harry Ritter. As we head into our next battle, this one are going to be something special. Nine fights for six wins. Ritter, five fights for three wins. Oh, I think he's had more than that, actually. Stone on our cards, he's had 11 and eight. So uh, a lot more experienced, I think, is Stone from Luxu Muay Thai. But joining me to commentate on this one is this brave self. Jay, welcome back, my friend. You've uh, been overseas and had a good win, and I'm, uh, it's great to be commentating with you again for this one. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Hammer. It's good to be here. Unfortunately, I'm not in this card, but... I was looking forward to seeing you in there, man, doing your thing again. I was excited to fight in this card, however. It's still... It's good to be alongside you. We're back again. And we got a beautiful star. Beautiful place for beautiful people. I don't know what I'm beautiful. doing here, but you, you fit right in. Beautiful ring girls <laughs> standing right above us. The beautiful Alicia in that hard knocks outfit. So not, I like that you know everyone by their first name. I'm just calling them ring girls and dancing girls. First name basis. No, first name right. basis. The spray. <laughs> a man on the Gold Coast. If you see him out and about, say good day. But we're here at War on the Shore number 23. And once again, how good is this venue and how good is this show? Absolutely been? stunning. You don't really get too many venues in Australia or fight shows like this. Next level. But tell us about uh, overseas. Is it Abu Dhabi, was it? Were you, you, Abu Dhabi, yeah. yeah. It was um, fighting an opponent over there. Kind of was early finished. It's almost like my sex life, Hammer. First round. <laughs> One and done. Mate, you've got enough jobs, so uh, just keep it si keep it simple, keep it short. It's my theory anyway. Getting, getting paid <laughs> by, the, by the fight, not by the round. That's it. So uh, we're into the action here. Gold Coast versus Cairns. Oh, just un upends himself. Slip is Ritter. Once again with uh, Richard Walsh in the corner. It's so good to see Richard Walsh back in uh, cornering the boys here on War on the Shorts. Just like a bit of a reunion for me tonight. Danny Dadowski ringside. Diamond Jim. Oh, the old favourites. Tell you what. See Stone here. Hand, he's got really low hands, especially that left. Yeah, he's it's, got it's, to watch he doesn't get caught with a straight right from Ritter. Almost like he's got some kind of traditional background. Maybe like a karate or a taekwondo with his hands that low. Well, nice up high kick, though, from Stone. He's a bit lumbering though, he's not really snapping and cracking the technique out. You see, really, he's got that real traditional tie stance, strong, straight back with the kicks. Yeah. Of course, from uh, Naksu Muay Thai, you know they're going to have that traditional Thai style of fighting. Bouncing the front foot is Ritter. Comes in this one with big raps, Harry Ritter. Heard good things about him, so looking to, looking to see what he can produce here. But against the very unorthodox Ryan Stone. I think he's, he's just taking his time to work him out. He's got him backed up in the corner. The clinch up. Knee for knee. Jostle for position, but he's, he's got a bit of an unorthodox clinch style as well, the stone. He's got the height and reach advantage. Shuts it down. Knee guard thrown on. Stone shuts that engagement down. Oh, shopping elbow. Big elbow. Not using his jab at all. His fingers. His uh, Ritter. One, two. And again. Just goes, got clipped there. Ooh, yeah. really. He loaded that downward elbow up from pretty much the other side of the ring and made it very predictable. 
looked for the elbow there himself, Ritter. Stone. He's looking to his corner as well. He's looking at the time. Pops the jab. Now gets to use the jab a little. Stone balks back. High kick attempt from Ritter. Ritter in the red. Stone in the blue. They measure. Chopping low. Ritter pops the jab again. Tentative in his attacks, but uh, has a bit of an unorthodox style. And uh, it's hard to read what he's going to do, I think, Jaden. What do you think? I think Red Corner's got that nice, strong stance, and he's landed about five switch kicks that have been right across the arm so far this round. He needs to start using them a bit more. I think he needs to pull the trigger first a little more, Harry Ritter, because when he opens up, he's doing some good things. Got Stone back into the neutral corner. That's the end of first round. Close one. How did you see it? Unofficially, I'd give that one to the Red Corner. He's just had a lot more power behind his kicks. He pulled the trigger a bit more. We're in agreement. Red corner, probably slightly stronger. But the uh, unorthodox style of Ben Stone. Anything can, anything can come from him. Big thank you to Elite Garden. Hard knocks. Uh, no getting right behind you over overseas as well, of course. Quite, yeah, big supporters of not only Warren the Shore, but the Spray himself. What's her name? That's Jessica. Okay. No, I don't know that one. I just, pop, I just pop quizzed you then, brother. <laughs> <laughs> More of a brunette man these days. Ever. <laughs> just pop quizzing, pop quizzing the spray on the, the girls. Looking in the corners, though, the red corner looks to be the fresh of the two. What's her name? <laughs> I think that's got, got you again. That's the Mrs. Hammer. <laughs> They're all the space <laughs> angels. All, uh, all glorious and beautiful here on the Gold Coast. The beautiful Stark Casino. Show Warner Shore 23, we get underway. Round two. Round two, strong start from Stone. You can already see some big welts on that lead thigh of Stone from the shin of uh, Harry Ritter. Tries for the high kick and just nails him with a couple of good punches, Ritter. He's having good success with his hands, Ritter. This is where they've gone to the corner at the end of the first round. They've got, they've got the IT, they've got the intelligence from the corner that have gone there. Do this, don't do that, change this strategy. So you sometimes see fight strategies change dramatically in the second round after the trainers have reviewed what they've seen and gone, that didn't go the way we thought, now do this. I think Walshie in the red corner would have for sure seen his left hand. It's just too low. As you can see, he's, he's using his hands a lot more this round. Of course, uh, Richard Walsh, former trainer of Nathan. The Carnage Corbett, and the big g'day to the Carnage, is watching from uh, over in uh, LA. The globe trotting Muay Thai legend he is, the Carnage. Who knows where he is? Oh, that one took his leg out. He's getting sore. Yeah, yeah. It's starting to chop the leg. Chop his gonna... knee. Big yeah. hooks. Oh, oh chops that leg the leg again. Going. So it won't be long before he goes to Southport now. Ryan Stone, hide and reach advantage. Bit of a George Mann look alike. Oh, there it is, oh, push hey. kick to the face. Just as you called it, <laughs> fighting like him too. <laughs> no, throws on the knee guard. He's looking around a lot. I don't know what he's looking at. I think he's looking at the screens. Ryan Stone. Chopping downward elbow again, tries to hack down on oh, the face. Jumping knee. Harry Ritter. That lead hand down your right. He's got that sort of cross guard. He's got that Philly sort of boxing like, guard. Yeah, boxing. Step through, big knee to the body, chopping. He's working his level really well, going from the head to the legs. Switch the stance a little momentarily. Right hook off the rear. But he's doing it all as he's getting backed up, and of course. When the judges are looking at that, it's dominance in a close fight. Ring control and aggression. Yeah, absolutely. He's pretty composed, is Harry Ritter, too. You'd think he'd be you know, teeing off a bit. He's obviously smart enough not to gas himself trying to finish him. Again, hacks away at that lead thigh. That's obviously a primary target for Ritter. But he's not making it too obvious. He's always he's going back to the head, 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 and then going back to the body, and then chopping the legs. not making it too obvious. Changing levels nicely. Ritter. Stone looking to his corner again. I think he's feeling a bit lost. Yeah, he's uh, a little bit underdone, it, it, it seems, in this one. But he's still giving it back. He's tough. Tough as you like uh, the crew from Nakzu Muay Thai. Again, looks to fire that rear hand. Knee guard thrown on. 
tries to shrug it off and does round Ritter. two again i'm going to give that one unofficially to the red line just a lot more dominant with his kicks with his low kicks with his hands had his good moments in the fight did stone but yeah probably 90 percent of that round was all Ritter. absolutely And it's all to do now in the third round for Ryan Stone, having a look at the replay. The push, push kick, kick to the, the face is working the face. well. And there's that hacking low kick from Ritter. That's just done him well. Looping punches, pretty loose in the guard. He's trying to, he's always looking for that, that hacking downward elbow too. Seems to be, up there it is. Seems to be a favourite of his. It is working on the stone. Jumping, jumping knees, knee. push kicks to the face, chopping over elbows. I mean, they're all working, but he needs to also rack up the points, not just have his one-off shots, his one-off moments. Yeah, he's got to put it and do them a little bit more convincingly, I feel. He's doing them like almost with a bit of trepidation. You've got, you got to have thought that whilst you in the corner, We've just been yeah. telling him to start strong, chop big, the leg. Big, solid, planted punches from Ritter. He's not backing down, Stone. He's got a lot of grit in him. Yeah, he knows he's down on the scorecards. He needs a big finish in this round. He needs to throw absolutely everything he has, Stone. And he's still Ritter. pushing forward. Third and final. Again, you can see him just set, trying to set that elbow. But... Uh, Will he able be able to land it? That's the, that's the key. He's thrown it so many times. I think now that Ritter knows it's going to come and he'll watch for that chamber. Perhaps a spin hacks away with the right elbow, does Ritter. Stone. Nice. The elbows and the clinch. Hanging on. Looks for the switch. He's looking gassed, though. He is, but it's... He's not in complete survival mode yet. He's still throwing back. Throwing back, but off the back foot. And Harry Ritter's taken no silly risks and just done just a good tradesman-like effort. Just gone in and, and is doing what needs to be He's done. not risking anything. Not risking anything. Tight guard. As much as the crowd would like to, you know, see him just to finish the job here, really explode. He's been smart about it. Strong switch kicks nice switch across kick the arms. To the right hand. I'd say he's almost going to look for a standing count here if he keeps... Centre referee Wayne Mead having a look. Leads to the head. There it is. Standing eight count. And that's uh, definitely caught him. Minute and 15 Mead. left on the clock. So he's still got plenty of time to work. I reckon that count's just about going to lock this one away for Harry Ritter. Walsh calling for the head kick. Well, it's getting fancy Let's now, Let's just Walsh. see where it is. He wants the finish, oh, obviously. Oh, right hand. That's because he's got that lead hand low. You called it. The lead hand's low. Good yeah, job. those middle kicks. Coming forward, switching the footwork is Ritter looking for something. Oh, he big clubbing shots in front of the commentary position. That's enough. Another count being applied. Wayne Mead given the, the towel's been in. thrown. It's all over. Good it's call by the corner there. Good call. There's Very nothing good. to be gained here. He was only going to get hurt. He wasn't going to pull anything out. That was going to phase a Ritter as he was finishing this one so convincingly. So uh, a good fight again from Urban and uh, wow Harry Ritter how do you do takes his record on to uh, 10 fights seven wins now and certainly a good prospect see he's still firing back he's had his moments he never quite gave up but Ritter just all over him just too strong in this one I think Harry Ritter just too much power and uh, he was planted in his shots. You see Ritter, he's got those big, wide shoulder, shoulders. It's just going to give him so yeah. much power. When he had the, the opportunity, he took it. And uh, it was a great execution of technique when the time allowed it. We'll go over now to Dave Aller to make it all official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make it official as we don't go to the judges' scorecards. At a time of 2 minutes and 18 seconds, gone of round number 3. The blue corner is thrown in the towel. Your winner by TKO, Harry Ritter.
Again, another great battle here. Warner Shaw, number 23. We move on to the next battle.